Hey guys, it's uh, Chris Singh here back from CNH Smalling again for another informative video. Uh, the video I've got right now deals with um, uh, some of the stuff I have for sale plus how to differentiate uh, between um, uh, SKS stocks and stuff of that nature. Uh, what I have for sale was um, some, some, some stocks and some other uh, parts as well too for the gun. So I'm going to show you what uh, different stocks look like for your SKSs here so you can like differentiate between uh, which uh, specific mall you have and if you want to replace the stock for whatever reason uh, you know what they actually look like because they are variations of uh, stocks that are for that and if you go on like eBay and stuff like that uh, the majority of the time they don't actually tell you what the difference is it, all, all they have to do is like show you a, a picture of what the stock looks like and uh, what, what it actually um, uh, or say what, the, what, what, what they said it might have fit on, but uh, you have to buy an exact stock for your exact replacement for your gun out there. And, and if you don't do that, uh, you might buy a stock and say, oh, why isn't this thing fitting here properly? And you might have to send the thing back for a door, basically bite the bullet and just, like, just keep it. So basically, the first stock I got here is a uh, Chinese uh, early, I think it's about 19, uh, 1960s stock. Uh, I took this stock off one of my guns here and replaced it because it was uh, pretty pretty banged up as you see right here. This is a early Cine-Soviet, uh, probably 1960s stock right here. Uh, these ones are basically patterned after the uh, the Russian style ones where you have your sling and a bomb here. So it's basically almost like a clone of the Russian, the, the, late, the late 50s, uh, like um, uh, like, I'd say like 55 or the uh, the later um, the later letter uh, Russian SKS as well too. It looks virtually identical to the Russian style stock on here. Here's a here's a bomb picture right here. Here's your side picture, top picture as well too, and again as a front as, as the main front uh, side picture as well too. Uh, here's what the bayonet slot looks like right here. You get a better picture of that bayonet slot. There's your bayonet slot right there. This is cut for the uh, blade bayonet. It's basically virtually identical to the Russian stock. Uh, this blade bayonet portion is only probably about, let me see, I got a, uh, let me see, I got something here to measure it. It's only about, let me see, one, two, three. Let me see, I got something else here to measure it. Hold on, guys. <clears throat> let me see, got this thing here. This thing doesn't, no, it doesn't even have one on here. It's about one, two, three, four. It's about it's about four and a half inches long here for the the bayonet slot, as you see right here. But it's about four, about three and a half four inches here for the bayonet slot. That's how you know it's a uh, blade bayonet, as the Russian style ones have as well too. So this is basically a Cine Soviet uh, early production Chinese SKS stock. And the next one I got here. Is a uh, you go. Oh, I'm gonna drop some here again. Hold on, guys. Uh, that's a spring. Okay. Yeah, you should always make sure that the stock includes the spring. It's a good thing I fell out of here. Your stock has your spring here for your uh, trigger housing as well too. Um, sometimes they include, other times they don't. Uh, this one right here is another one I off my other M39C6 SKS. Uh, you can tell by the variances, uh, well, the first noticeable one is the back with the butt pads at. Uh, the Yugo ones, they put rubber butt pads in the back, where the Chinese ones only had steel in the back here as well, too. So that was a change there as well, too. Plus, also, let me see if I can tell you another difference here as well, too. Uh, there should be another difference here on a sock. Let me see if I can find it here for you guys. Hold on here. And, uh, let me see here. Let me see that. Let me see the hand guard. Oh, oh, yeah, here we go. Sorry about that. Okay, your uh, safety mechanism right here. Your safety mechanism uh, cut out of the wood here is a lot deeper than your typical uh, Chinese one right here as well, too. Let me see if you can get a side by side comparison between the two. So you can see them. Chinese ones on the top, the Yugo ones on the bottom here. You notice the uh, difference is quite noticeable for your safety notch cut out right there for that as well, too. So that's another difference right there in the stock. Be wary of that too. And uh, one thing, one of the biggest biggest differences is the blade bayonet. Your Yugo M39C6 has a uh, bigger blade bayonet cutout slot right here as well too. This one is basically, let's see, I get a measurement here for you guys. One, two. It's almost. It's about. 
It's about as big as a dollar bill, basically. Uh, your slot here for the bayonet is about almost as big as a dollar bill would be, so it's close to six inches right there for that, as opposed to the early production Chinese ones, which is only about four inches uh, along. You can see if you can get comparison side by side here. Chinese ones on the top, Yugo ones on the bottom on here. So that's a difference you notice right away right there for that. It is definitely noticeably longer. And it also is a lot deeper into the wood on here as well too. The, uh, the Chinese one then goes in there probably about, uh, maybe about, maybe about a half an inch. Uh, the Yugo one goes in there by three quarters of an inch, almost to an inch inside of the wooden stock on here as well too, to be more precise. And uh, that's basically another difference as well too. Uh, overall, the stocks look identical in terms of uh, length on here, except the uh, Chinese one has a metal butt pad in the back here. The Yugo one, obviously, as I said before, has the rubber butt pad as well too. So that's the difference right there. Next. Okay, the next one I got here for you guys is a late production. I believe this is a Norinco uh, Chinese stock. This is one I think made it in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, this one is specifically for, I believe, commercial uh, commercial uh, sales. Because they, they sold these things in the late uh, 70s and 80s, I, I believe in the 80s, to uh, people over in the United States. Uh, the difference by this one as opposed to the early Chinese one. Let me give you a side-by-side -side comparison here so you can see the different sides on here. Here we're gonna flip this thing around here for you guys. Okay, early Chinese on the top. Late Chinese production commercial grades on the bottom. Uh, you notice that the first thing is the handguard uh, wood cutout placement is noticeably bigger on the uh, late production one. As you see, the uh, late production one is probably about 30% bigger than the early production 1960s one as well too. Plus, he also changed the position for where the actual sling attachment is. Your early one has a sling on the bottom right here. Your late production one has a sling right here attached in the middle of the stock side right here as well too. Plus, the other difference is, you see, get a better close up here. This one is meant for the uh, the pike bayonet on here. It's basically a, a flat, cuneiform style uh, bayonet. It's it's a flat one as opposed to the uh, earlier blade style ones. So you see, get a better picture of this too as well too. So here you go, guys. Early ones on the top, the late ones on the bottom here. You see, I'll notice how bigger this slot is right here. That's for the that's for the uh, the pike uh, flat style bayonet. And the top one has the blade. Stop being that. See how much shorter that is inside there as well too. So that's another comparison between your Chinese uh, two different Chinese variants out there as well too. So that's something to look out for when you purchase a stock online. And the last stuff I have here is uh, basically items for basically items items for sale. This is a uh, original gas tube plus the uh, upper hand guard on here. This is. Uh, this is an early production. It's a all one piece on here for your gas tube. It's not uh, split like here as the later ones are. And here's a hand guard. It goes with your Yugo as well too. So everything I have here is basically for sale. I also include the back retaining plate here for your upper hand guard. Basically it goes on here even though this thing's kind of messed up on here for that. I don't have that pin inside it because I had to take the pin out and put it in our stock. So that's basically complete, except for the pin in the back. And I also have a uh, magazine here as well too. This is a magazine off of the uh, early one here. We've got it right here. This magazine basically fits with this uh, stock right here, the early Chinese production one right here. This is a complete magazine. Everything looks perfectly fine. It was pulled from the gun. The gun worked perfect. No problems with it whatsoever, and it's one solid, uh, or I say one solid uh, magazine, complete magazine. Has a number stamped at the bottom on here as well too. It's early production Chinese, basically identical to Russian ones. These things are going. Uh, I'd say it sells here probably about 20 bucks right here, 20, 25 dollars plus shipping and handling. Uh, the upper hand or up the upper um, gas tube probably about another 15, 20 bucks of this right here. 
and the stocks. I'd say maybe 20 bucks for a late production pipe style stock right here. And the earlier one, this is this is relatively beat to hell right here. I didn't almost give this thing away for like five or ten bucks for that. And the um, Yugo M39C6 SKS stock. This is this is black painted basically. All it is all it is is basically a uh, stripped stock plus the upper handguard as well to the wooden handguard. I'd say this may be for another 20, 25 bucks right there for that as well too. So. If anybody has any questions, comments, whatnot about uh, and I described here as well, uh, just uh, shoot me an email here if, if you want to purchase anything. Uh, basically, all, all prices are um, open to negotiation for that. So I hope uh, you find out some uh, information about your um, SKSs right here because they do def they do definitely have variations in, in the stocks. So whenever you purchase one online, you always have to make sure you got the right stock for your application. Make sure it's the right year period, and make sure it's the right manufacturer out there for that. Because because a Russian one won't fit on a, a Yugo, and Yugo won't fit on a Russian one, and Yugo won't fit on a Chinese one. So you got to make sure you get the right exact part for your exact piece of equipment. And as always, if anybody has any questions, again, just leave me a message here, or if you want to purchase any of these things I do accept PayPal or uh, face to face transactions so just drop me a line here leave me a message and if you're interested in anything I got here just uh, let me know I'll see you guys thanks